Hi there again and welcome back. Today we're going to be looking at a way to carry the rope in the event that you have a small backpack, for instance you're doing multi-pitch climbing, that doesn't have much room inside so it's not big enough to accommodate the rope. And in addition to that, when you have a small pack like this, making a backpack coil and putting it on the back of your back doesn't really make a lot of sense because it'll get pushed off to the side and make it awkward to carry the rope. So we're going to look at a different way to carry the rope. So here I've created an alpine coil, which is a great technique to use if you have a big backpack where the coil can just sit right on top. With a small pack like this, sometimes that can work just fine. You might need to strap it down. But sometimes, especially if there's a lot of scrambling on the way, then the alpine coil can slowly shift and fall off a small pack. So what we can do is we can modify this alpine coil to make it more comfortable to carry and ensure it's not going to fall off. So first I'm just going to drape this over the back of my neck and then I'm going to grab a sling. You can use a single length runner if you have say a thin diameter 60 meter rope or smaller rope or if you have a larger rope like maybe you're working with a 70 meter rope then you might want to go with a double length runner. I'm going to take that runner and I'm going to position the sew bar right in the center of the runner. And I'm going to end up using this runner just like a piece of cord to tie this coil off to make it easier to carry. Okay, so I'm simply using this because it's something I'm already bringing with me for my route. So now I'm going to run this runner, run this sling, through each loop of my alpine coil. Okay, so here we go. To see how to make this alpine coil, you can take a look at our other videos, incidentally. Okay, so I run it through each of those loops on that side, and to check out, make sure I've captured them, I simply shake it, okay? There we go, I've captured all those loops, now I'm going to run it through each of these loops on the other side. Doesn't really matter if they're overlapping or crossed in any way. Okay, check that. Okay, looks like I've captured them all. Now using these two ends, I'm simply going to make a square knot. Okay, passing, so let's make an overhand knot. And then another overhand knot in the opposite orientation. So I've made a square knot. And then these ends, you can leave them dangling like that. I like to pass it back through the rope and then just use one of my non-locking carabiners from the sling. Clip those ends off. It just keeps it slightly neater and it keeps my one of my carabiners with the coil. So now I simply put that coil on my back and then I put the... Um, the nail knot finish right over my shoulder and this is a really comfortable way to carry your rope for a long period. This resembles the Mountaineer's coil but very different than the Mountaineer's coil which is round coils and the Mountaineer's coil has to be peeled off one coil at a time and takes some time. This is still a butterfly coil so when I get to the base of my root I can simply take this, untie my sling like so. Yeah. Let's put that off the side for now. Open this up and drop it. The trouble with the Mountaineer's coil is because you're taking in round coils it adds a slight twist to the rope every time you go around. So over time it kinks your rope up and you can't just open the coil up and drop it. So there you go. A simple effective way to carry your rope when you have a small pack. It allows you to scramble easily, the rope's not going to fall off, and then it still flakes out well when you reach the base of a root.